Hey guys, uh, this is Sunil Krishna and uh, I would like to teach you today uh, about the most important topic and that is voice. And the voice class can be classified into two parts, active voice and passive voice as you can see in the board. And I will teach this topic in a very layman style. See, it can be classified into two parts, active and passive voice. Whenever the sentence is given in the form of tense, simple, present, past or future tense. This sentence will be considered as an active voice. In this, the subject performs the action. Okay, but when we convert it into passive voice, we give the direct importance to the object, not to the subject. Here, subject will be given the credit and importance. But in this sentence, when you convert it into passive voice, it give it the importance is given to the object and subject will be secondary whenever we convert from active to passive or vice versa we will have to follow some rules what the rules are the rules uh, is given in a very simple in a chart form that everybody can understand even a fool can understand i have made the chart in such a way see the active voice can be seen in the form of tense that can be present tense or past tense or future tense okay means it can be written in indefinite continuous perfect and perfect continuous and so on the active voice can be recognized very easily by watching that by uh, considering that by uh, seeing the rules of the tense whenever you read the sentence and you find that the sentence is given in the tense form it can be any tense amongst of 12 tenses okay it can be uh, written in any form this is called active voice but when you want to convert from active to passive then you must uh, follow the three rules those three rules are literally very important for your life see subject is should be converted into object and object should be converted into subject rule number one the first the most important thing is that you will have to convert the subject into object and object into subject on the place of the subject the object will come and on the place of the object the subject will come and by using uh, this rules you will have to use third forms of the verb every time in passive voice it is the basic and universal rule that you must follow the verb form of the uh, form of the verb in the third form okay and after con uh, converting and after giving the importance to the object the work is done by the subject that's why we will use the word by sometimes we can use in and at also or with can also be used Sometimes we use to also, but 90% uh, uh, times we will use, we will have to use by. And I will tell you the conditions in which conditions this can be used. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, let us do some examples also. Uh, first of all, you will have to, uh, one more thing you must know about it, that uh, there's a chart. If you want to convert from active into passive, okay, you will have to uh, follow some rules of the chart. And this rule will give you the direct solution with the help of the elimination you can solve all the questions very easily so let us go ahead and see whenever the sentence is given in the form of verb uh, tense like indefinite first form of the verb or verb s a e s concluded do your does is given with the form of uh, with the verb form of with the first form of the verb v2 or did it means indefinite past indefinite is given or is a mark or was verb is given with verb fourth form of the verb this is considered the fourth form of the verb and you will have to convert in this way means first of all you will have to learn the chart and then after you can go ahead by doing this see i'm just going to do it for you when the subject is given you will have to place in the form of uh, in the place of object and it will be converted into objective case and when the object is here, you will have to write in the place of subject and it will be in capital letter. Means first of all, you will have to convert the subject into object and object into subject. And then after I told you that you, use, you can use by as I have written in the chart. And you can see the chart and after seeing the chart, you will see 
that did is converted into was verb now go ahead this is singular then what the word should be used was or were the rule says that it is singular and we should use was and what is the third form of the verb of did then we will write the third form of the verb is done so this was done by me is the passive form of i did i did this means after following all these three rules the rules of a chart the rule of uh, by verb third form and subject object object subject in this way you can solve all the questions of passive voice in a very easy and a layman style this was my uh, uh, basic information about the voice uh, that literally will come in any examination it may be come in defense in ssc banking or academic section cuet in every section you will get it that's why it is the this is it is considered the most important topic of all the competitive examinations okay this is done and i have given so many questions also for your practice uh, when i will start my batch and then you will get it you will definitely get it in uh, my other uh, further classes she will be happy this is about to do this and so many questions are also there okay i have written some easy questions for your practice and after becoming expert you can do all the tough questions and the moderate to hard level you can do it very easily by using my formula and this is the literally very important formula for everybody who is literally preparing for examination and uh, the, their english is weak in grammar then you can uh, consider my rules very easy if you want to learn english in a such a way that you can qualify the examination so let us uh, go ahead and uh, wait for my another for the class thanks and bye bye